summon your enemies and judge them. Do this to judge your enemies. Put an end to their plans and destroy their evil arrows. Anything working against you, do this to summon them, judge them, and scatter them. As far as you are not doing anything evil against anyone, as far as you are not planning evil against your fellow human being, and the enemies are working against you, summon them now and destroy them physically and spiritually. With this, you put an end to their evil plan. You put an end to their hearts thinking about you. This is a powerful prayer. All you need are onion, a piece of paper where you will write all their names in case if you know the names of all your enemies. You need a paper like this. And the last is knife, kitchen knife. So before I proceed on this video, I want to tell you that you are most welcome to this channel and you are welcome in the name of the Most High God. As you stop to watch this video, I pray that God will bless you. He will favor you and make you to prosper, shine in every good thing you are doing. Now, if today is your first time to come across this channel, please support this channel in many ways. Please, from now on, I need each and every one of you support. You can buy my super thanks to support this channel. You can also join my membership program to support this channel. You can as well share my videos to your friends and families so that they will watch to know the right prayers to do to change their life positively. So these are the three perfect way to support this channel. So subscribe once again and make sure that you turn on the bell each time i upload a good content like this you will be notified of my new video so thank you for stopping by now if your enemies are troubling you there are many working against you and you know all your enemies this one to know them is very important this video is for those that knows their enemies if you know that this person is your enemy he or she is working against you please do this prayer not to kill him or her but to make him or her to forget you to make any evil intention he or she may have against you to be scattered any evil plan he or she may have against you to be barren to be aborted and to be terminated spiritually. He or she will never think about you again. That is why you need to do this prayer. Summon them, judge them and scatter them. As far as your hands are clean, as far as you are not planning evil against that person, just do this prayer and watch what will happen to your enemies or to him or her. Now you need threatens the very first thing you need is a plain sheet or a sheet of paper like this something that is that is a paper that nothing is written on it now the fourth thing you need is to gather all their names and put them on a sheet of paper like this yes if you know the names of your enemies put them and do this powerful prayer but should in case let me remind you this is all about prayers we are not here to commit ritual but you are using these ingredients to demonstrate what you want god to do to your enemies that is what i will teach you you are not going to kill anyone or rather the bible says do not pray for your enemies to die rather Pray for their repentance. So, we are doing this prayer to make our enemies to scatter so that they will never walk against us again. 
they will leave us alone so that we will shine and glorify the Most High God. So this prayer is all about praying to God to make your enemies forget you, to make all your enemies to scatter, that is for them to be scattered, their evil intention to be scattered, their plans to be scattered. Anywhere they are, they will just forget about you completely so that you will move on and start progressing. So, once you know the names of your enemies, put their names on a sheet of paper like this and bring an onion. This onion is what you need to demonstrate the actual thing you want to happen to your enemies. And also, bring a knife. Yes. Now, cut that onion into two. Cut the onion into two like this. Can you see it? Cut the onion into two like this. And bring the names of that enemies. Those enemies. Bring the names of those enemies. Sorry. As you wrote them on a sheet of paper like this. And fold it. After writing their names, fold it so that you can put it between these two onions as you cut it. Put it like this and put the names inside and start prayers. Start praying. Can you see it? This is a very simple and effective prayer. A very powerful prayer to judge your enemies. Now. What do you need to say? God, scatter my enemies. I am not here to kill them, but I am here to destroy their evil plans. These are my enemies. As this onion close their names, so shall their mind be closed. So shall their evil plans be terminated. So shall their evil arrow be terminated and avert to them. This prayer is a back to sender prayer. Just keep saying what you want. As this onion close, they will never see you again, or they will never see me again. As this onion hold this my enemies, they will be confused. They will be scattered. They will no longer think about me again. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, God, I commit my life into your hand, God. Protect it. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Let my enemies be scattered. God, arise and let my enemies be destroyed. Let them be scattered. They will never think of me again. They will never plan evil against me again. They will never talk of me again. Let their evil arrow avert and go back to them. Let their evil plans be destroyed. Let their evil arrow go back to them. God, as I put the names of my enemies between this onion, God, shame them, scatter them, make them to shed tears, make them to forget me, make them to be confused and make them to run away from me in the name of jesus christ oh god i judge them i am not planning evil against them and they are thinking evil against me god scatter their plans scatter their evil destroy their evil plan destroy them anywhere they are destroy their spiritual eyes destroy their mind let them Never think of me again. Oh God, make me to be prosperous. From today henceforth, I will be progressing. I am a success. I will progress. I am protected. I am choosing. Every day is my day. Progress is my portion. Victory is my portion. Prosperity is my portion. Success is my portion. You start saying what you want God to do for you. And keep saying positive words and destroy the plans of your enemies. Remember, in the scripture it says that whatever I hear you say, that is what I will do for you. 
God said so that whatever he hear you say, he will do it for you. So ask, it shall be given. And as you ask this prayer and make this prayer, believe that God has already answered you. Believe that as you do this prayer, it is already working. You are answered and as you do it, your enemies are scattered. They will never think of you again. They will never think of doing anything against you. And from today henceforth, progress will be a portion. Success will be a portion. Say it to yourself. From today henceforth, progress is my portion. Success is my portion. Favor is my portion. Favor is my divine inheritance. Say things that will help you to attract favors, to attract good things, and to make things to start working for you. So try this prayer. Now, after doing this prayer, keep these names and this onion somewhere, either in your kitchen, in your room, in your bedroom, anywhere you know that no one will touch it. And repeat it. Take it up. Repeat this prayer for three working days. Do it. You can do it in the morning. You can do it in the night. You can do it in the afternoon. Any time of your choice. Endeavor to do this prayer and watch your enemies being scattered anywhere they are. If you know the names of your enemies, do this and watch what will happen to them. You will see that they will never think of you again. And most of them, once they see you, they will start running because of shame, because their mind is judging them. No peace of mind. And remember, no peace for the wicked. As you repeat this prayer, they are catching fire. Holy Ghost fire will be upon them. They will never have a peace of mind. They will be restless. Whatever they do, they can never be comfortable because they are planning evil against the child of God. They are planning evil against the one whom God ordained. They are planning evil against someone whom God appoints Holy Spirit to guide. And they are planning evil against someone who is prayerful. So always pray and make this prayer. Do this prayer for three days and watch what will happen. So after making this prayer, please, the next thing you need is to bury this. Bury it. After doing it for three days, bury this and make sure that as you are doing it, no one will see you. So that that person, like a children, may not go and unbury it or take it out. So bury it and believe in God. Believe that your prayers are answered. So try this with faith and bless your name. Trust God in the process and watch your enemies confessing, suffering, being confused. And the most important thing, they will forget about you and they will be scattered. So try it. If you have questions and comments, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section. In fact, I will be glad to see your comment in the comment section. Let me remind you again, please, I want you people's support on this channel. It is very important. How do you support me? I said it earlier. Either you join my membership program because I will be making video, a special video for all my membership for all my members sorry secondly buy my super tanks if you can join my membership program buy a super tanks to support this channel now the least you can do to support this channel so that this channel will go viral and go far is to share my videos my channels recommend this channel to people you know that need this Encourage them to watch. As you do this, God will bless you. So, thank you once again. I wish you every good thing life will offer. See you in my next video. Bye.